cold when I fast. Um, I'm freezing now. Um, so I usually do an OMAD. Um, and I eat one meal a day. But today I decided to um, get some broth in. <clears throat> this is uh, bone broth from um, Aldi. And it's really good. Uh, it's it has pretty good stats on it, and I think it's like a dollar eighty nine. Um, but I really like the taste. They only had the bone broth um, for turkey. That's it. Uh, they didn't have any. They have other, um, you know, broths like chicken broth, vegetable broth, and beef broth. But they did. This is the first item that I've seen that has the bone broth. So um, I'm just. I just finished distilling some water, and um, that's the kind of water I drink, because I do get the water from, um, it's uh, sometimes reverse osmosis, or sometimes it's spring water. Um, I think my husband got it from Walmart. I try to use the uh, BPA, uh, BPA free, BPA free stuff. Uh, yeah, so I made myself some green tea, and, uh, yeah, so I'm drinking that, and, you know, when we were on vacation, I don't know if you ever had anybody that, um, continuously tempts you, but, yeah, I live with a kind of person that tempts me with unhealthy food, and I really have to, uh, <laughs> dig deep to avoid it, right? So... When we were on vacation, I indulged a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I think I had some sherbet, and I think I had uh, one ice cream cone one day from the dollar store. And when I bought the sherbet, it was the kind that you get at the dollar store. I think it was like a pint. And, you know, they say that when you, if you're going to indulge, you only buy, like, enough for a single indulgement, you know, like a treat or whatever. You don't want to buy a big bag and stuff. And so, I don't know. So, anyway, I, I, I turned him on to some sherbet at the dollar store. So, now my husband is fixated on buying it now. He needs to watch his sugar, too. Uh, because his doctor told him that if he doesn't quit it, he's going to wind up with a health emergency and um, he needs to cut back on his sugar. So I've been trying to educate him. You know, I've been going on this health journey since 2012 and he still doesn't get it. He still, he still doesn't get it. I have him watch videos. Last night we watched Dr. Fung um, and Dr. McCola, Dr. Fung putting out some new videos. He has a new book out, really good. If you don't watch Dr. Fung, you should. He's great for diabetes. He's an, endo, he's an endo, he's a nephrologist, an endocrinologist. And he's great on um, fasting and um, getting your blood sugar down, right? And advocating for uh, people that are obese to uh, try to change their life through fasting. So, yeah, so um, I'm drinking that. My husband just called. He said he wanted to go to the farmer's market because I wanted to check out to see what kind of uh, farm, uh, uh, farm-raised farm beef that they have. Um, one thing that troubles me now and, and with, the, with the salmon, like I've been buying a wild-caught salmon, um, but I'm going to turn the camera around. I can't really see it, but what it says is, it says that it's been wild-caught salmon. Wild-caught salmon. But the thing about it is that bothers me, and this is from Walmart, and I had to take the other one back from Aldi because if you look, if you look, it says um, certified, sustainable, and it has the uh, emblem on there. And, you know, it has to regulate it. But what troubles me is, is if you look, uh, 
Product of China, wild caught in Russia, processed in China. That that's troublesome for me because this is this is a wild caught salmon purchased at Walmart in the USA. Why? Why is it? Why is it? Um, product of China, wild caught in Russia, and processed in China. What happened to the Alaskan salmon? Aren't they fishing in Alaska anymore? Isn't there any salmon? Why do they have to do this in China? And wild caught in Russia. What's that all about? Uh, I know the Norwegian, I know not farm fished is good. I know that. I haven't been eating that since 2012. I know all about that debacle. Stuff. Toxic fish. Um, but see, I'm trying to do the best for my health. I'm trying to eat the best quality fuel to put in my body. And when I read this stuff, this really pisses me off, you know? Here I'm thinking I'm getting wild caught fish, which is supposed to be healthy. Then I find that it's from China or it's from Russia. Now, what's all that about? So, I think I spoke about reading labels. Evidently, I really wasn't looking close enough. So, I found out that Aldi, I wasn't eat, eating any fish from Aldi anymore. And so, I went. my husband went to... Walmart to pick this up to only find that it's caught in Russia and processed in China. That doesn't make any sense to me. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.